A 6-gram sample of copper-zinc alloy reacts with HCl acid to produce hydrogen gas. If the hydrogen gas has a volume of 1.20 liters at 25 degrees Celsius and 720 mmHg, what is the percent of zinc in the alloy? Hint, copper does not react with HCl. So according to the hint, copper does not react with HCl. So what does that mean? It means that only zinc reacts with HCl. So first things first, you need to write the reaction between zinc and HCl. So that's zinc plus HCl. The products are zinc chloride and hydrogen gas. You need to put the coefficient 2 in front of HCl to balance the reaction. So this is the balanced reaction between zinc and HCl. So later on, we will make use of this balanced reaction. But for now, let's look at the second sentence of the question. It says here that the hydrogen gas has a volume of 1.20 liters at 25 degrees Celsius and 720 mmHg. So we're given the volume, we're given the temperature, and we're given the pressure of hydrogen gas. So what can we solve from that? We can solve for the moles of hydrogen gas. So how do we do that? Of course, we use the ideal gas law. So if you can remember the formula for ideal gas law, that's PV equals NRT. So if you want to solve for the moles or N, you can divide both sides of the equation by RT. So RT cancels on the right side. So our equation would be N moles is equal to pressure times volume divided by the gas constant times T. And according to the problem, the pressure is 720 mmHg. But before we plug that into our equation, we need to convert that first to ATM or atmosphere. So we are given 720 mmHg. So if you can recall, for every 1 ATM, that's equivalent to 760 mmHg. So the mmHg would cancel out. And if you solve this in your calculator, that's 720 divided by 760, that's approximately equal to 0 0.947 atm. So that is your pressure. You plug that into the equation, 0 0.947 atm. For the volume, according to the problem, it's 1.20 liters. So you plug that into the formula, divided by, remember, the value of R is constant. That's 0 0.0821 liter atmosphere per mole Kelvin. And T is the temperature in Kelvin. In the problem, we are given 25 degrees Celsius. How do we convert Celsius to Kelvin? Remember, if you want to convert Celsius to Kelvin, you just add 273.15. So the temperature in Celsius is 25. So you just need to add 273. 0.15 and that's equal to 298.15 Kelvin. So that's our temperature. So let's plug that into our formula. 298.15 Kelvin. So let's see how the units will cancel out. So the ATM cancels, the Kelvin cancels, the liter cancels, and the remaining unit is moles. And if you solve that in your calculator, 0 0.947 times 1.20 divided by, the denominator is 0 
times 298.15, you will get approximately 0 0.0464, and the unit is moles. So this is moles of what? Moles of hydrogen gas. Okay, so we have 0 0.0464 moles of hydrogen gas. So what's next? What's, what's the next step? Now let's go back to our balanced equation. Balanced reaction, sorry. So according to our balanced reaction, look at the ratio of zinc and hydrogen gas. So according to the balanced reaction, for every one zinc, one mole of zinc, there is also one mole of hydrogen gas. So for every one zinc, there's also one hydrogen gas. So the ratio is one to one. Okay, so why is that important? So let's write the solution. So 0 0.0464 moles of hydrogen gas. So again, the ratio is for every one mole of hydrogen gas, that's equivalent to one mole of zinc according to the balance reaction. So the moles of hydrogen gas will cancel. Now you have moles of zinc. And after that, we can convert moles of zinc into the mass of zinc. So how do we do that? We use the molar mass of zinc. So look at your periodic table and you can see that the molar mass of zinc, so for every one mole of zinc, that is equivalent to 65.38 grams of zinc. So the moles of zinc will cancel out and our unit would be grams of zinc. So if you solve this in your calculator, so 0 0.0464, times 65.38, that's approximately equal to 3.03 .03 grams of zinc. And finally, now that you have the grams of zinc, you can now solve for the percent zinc in the alloy. So how do you solve percent zinc in the alloy? That is just mass of zinc divided by mass of the alloy times 100. So substituting the numbers, the mass of zinc we got was 3.03 .03 grams divided by, according to the problem, the mass of alloy is 6 grams. So divided by 6 grams times 100. And if you solve that in your calculator, 3.03 .03 divided by 6 times 100, that's equal to 50.5% zinc. So the answer to this question is 50.5% zinc.